Hello everybody, Charlie Cummins again. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you what you're going to be learning at home and all this other stuff. I'm going to show you how to spread mud for block. Okay? How you spread mud for block. Alright? Remember I told you, you take Florida, Arizona, Nevada, California, Alaska, full of block layers. Can't lay brick. Okay. So you might, if you live in one of those states, maybe that's all you want to do is learn how to lay block. But remember, we teach people how to lay block, brick, and stone. Okay. That way you can go anywhere in the world. Okay. So here we go. You take your trowel. I'm going to do this left-handed and right-handed. Okay. A left-handed person is going to stick the trowel in the mud, get some mud, pat it down. Slow motion. Here we go. Lead a little bit. Lead a little bit. Okay. Lead a little bit. Okay. Now notice when I pick it up, I drop it. Okay. I do that because if you want to be doing this 30 or 40 years from now, without your wrist hurting, your elbow, your neck, your back, your shoulder, you're going to see a lot of broke down brick layers. Then you do this. You pick it up and you spread it down. If you do this right here, hop it like that, it's going to kill you over a period of time. So there's nothing wrong with just dropping it. Don't take and bang it down and splatter it all over yourself and all over the hotties and everything else. Just pick it up and just drop it. Okay? When you get to the end of the board, turn it around. Okay? I don't want to see you standing like this. If you get like this, you just fell off the wall. You just fell off the scaffold, okay? So we get over here, bring it up. I want you to bring the trowel up. Bring it down, okay? Now a lot of students, when you first get started, you're going to be afraid of all the mud's going to fall off the trowel. The mud's going to fall off the trowel. Well, look here, see? It don't fall off, all right? Don't worry about it falling off. All right? I'd rather see you. I'd rather see you going like this, coming down, than going like this. All right. Now the reason being, if you just go like that, you're doing all the work. So let gravity, let Mother Nature, the gravity of everything. So just lift it up a little bit. Lift it up, turn it upside down, bring it on, okay? Now for you right-handed people, all right? So you can see, just stick it in. Don't be going like that, all right? That will tear your wrist up, then your elbow, then your shoulder, then your neck, then your back. You don't want to be one of these broke down bricklayers after 20 years. If when they get out of their car or truck to go to work, they got to put on back braces, elbow braces, and all this. And the reason being, the main reason, is because this is the way they do it. That will kill you over time. Okay? So, stick the trowel in, drop it, lift the trowel up, lead a little. Okay? This is spreading for block. All right? Lead, bring it down. Okay. Pick it up. Let the gravity do it. All right. Pick it up. Stand there. And also notice the way I walk. You know, you take, you stand here. Yeah, I want to see you out here like this. Okay. In other words, I don't want to see you standing way back here, bending over. You know, all that kind of stuff. Biggest part of this trade to help you and everything else is learning how to walk, okay? How to walk, all right? And how to be comfortable, so be comfortable. Stand like here, take it, go down. Take a little, one or two little steps backwards, you know? Go, see? See, pick it up, bring it down. Bring it up, bring it down, okay? Now that's the way you spread for block. All right. Now know this. Remember this. 
if you take the course, part of the course at home, you'll be doing stuff like this. You'll be doing certain things. I'll be talking with you. Then when you get to where you can do everything like I want, you come out here to Arizona. Beautiful, Phoenix, Arizona. For two, two and a half weeks maybe, okay? And you'll finish our Master Mason course. However, if you have the time, come on out and stay six or eight weeks, 10 weeks at the most, you know. If you come, if you come 50 hours a week, you could be out of here in six weeks. Okay, it's going to take you two fifty three hundred dollars. Okay, if you came thirty hours a week, it's going to take you ten. Okay, that right, to finish this course, uh, we have financing for everybody, and like I said, so many seventy percent or more of our students that we've trained, they start contracting. We got leasing companies that know that after we've trained you that you know what you're doing, they'll loan you money to buy the right equipment, the right mixer, the right truck, the right trailer, the right everything that you need to be a successful masonry contractor in whatever you're doing, be it repair, fixing chimneys, to bricking houses, to outdoor kitchens, to building Walmarts, to building city, state, and federal projects. Had a guy call me yesterday, there's a prison in Jackson, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, he's got four or five bricklayers. He, they called me to see if they could get some. He's crazy to go in there and try to do the job. If you ain't got the help, don't do it, okay? All right, well that pretty much uh, concludes everything. Like I said, here's my phone number. You can text me or do it the old fashioned way. Give me a ring. I'll talk to you. I like to talk on the phone. And there's my email address. If you want to get a hold of me? We're here to help you. This concludes our this episode here. Have a great day.